Welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So this is kind of just a little impromptu video, my lovelies. I was thinking what I could do and I was like, you know what, we're coming up to Christmas. We've had quite a treacherous few weeks and you might think, Shan, you've done these this year, but I do like to sit down and say thank you to guys, to, guys, to you guys. <laughs> a big appreciation and thank you and probably it's like kind of maybe our yearly roundup of thank you for all of your support this year honestly this channel it baffles me as to where it goes and what content we end up putting up and who's going to be involved in the channel because next year i've started planning content i i don't want to overcommit myself at the moment and say what i'm thinking of doing but if all goes to plan, I might be able to have a few new additions and some surprises next year on the channel. And hopefully you guys will all like that. But um, yeah, I just thought, you know what? We're coming up to Christmas. You are still going to get your wishing a Merry Christmas video. That will be me and Mama G, of course. But I thought I want to sit down and say thank you to you guys for the support, the love, the advice over this year. Um, whether that be from leaving a comment on here. If... I know I've been terrible for this. I used to be so on point with replying to my comments. And I thought I would always be able to manage them. And it's ended up being, I can't manage it now. Some videos I'm having over 100 comments left. And I feel so, so bad that I can't reply to everyone. So if now I've started to heart the comments because I still want to give some form of interaction to you guys because I go through all the comments but I feel bad just hearting them but I physically don't have the time at the minute to reply to everyone um and I will always try and if I've seen a name pop up that I haven't seen for a while I'd like to respond back to you and then I'll like yours and then it'll be a comment I'm trying to make it <laughs> very fair but it's hard um I'm hoping in the new year I can get on top of it and it may be as I say with the heart in the comments and replying back to them you guys can also contact me via Instagram on my channel Dan is it a channel no it's just a page on Instagram um oh the sun is coming out <laughs> um on there if you want to drop me an email that's down there below as well it may take a couple of weeks to get back to you in some cases maybe a month I do apologize um but I do like to get back to you. Oh my god, that sun is blinding today. You would not think we are in December. Not at all. But uh, yes, I want to say anyone who leaves a comment, a thumbs up, anyone. I've had a few new members on the membership program. Thank you. Honestly, the membership program is... It's the bit of the platform of YouTube where the creator actually keeps most of it. The creator keeps 70% of the fee, which... When you compare to what YouTube take on, say, normal videos as such, it's sickening. Um, again, in the new year, I don't know if I do it in the new year or do I do it near the tax year, how much I've earned. But I speak all about, like, the views to how much you cost. And the membership side is definitely something I would like to try and get down there. And if I had more time to put some stuff into the membership, so maybe lives with me and Mama G or maybe videos just designated to the membership subscribers like i'm trying to think of ways number one to try and give you guys as much content and number two to try and like boost your girl's bank balance so that we can say bye bye to a nine to five and try and have this as our main thing like outside of this i completed my social media marketing degree specialist course you guys would have seen if you was with me for maybe June or uh, no May or June I think it was so that outside of work I do little bits and bobs honestly I just need a freaking time machine just to like pause time sometimes because I'm like <laughs> I need to be putting my time elsewhere and it's given me a lot of things to think about for the new year what I want to do career path where I want to go how I want to how I want to run the channel now I was looking back on some videos the other night with Dan and I was like Look at my goofy intros and outros. Now, don't get me wrong. I love them, okay? I 
took a brave leap this year, beginning of this year, and I went from an intro maker app. Oh my God, the sun is really coming out now. Jeez, I think I'm gonna start pulling the curtains, guys. Um, and I went from my trusted intro maker app and I went into the world of Canva. And trust me, by no means am I a professional in Canva. I wing it. I see a design I like and I just do a few little tweaks and here and there. But I'm thinking next year, if like people say, if you want your channel to be taken seriously, there has to be um, like a consistency. So I'm like, okay. And they're like one intro, one outro for every video, apart from Christmas when you do your Vlogmas. And I'm sitting there thinking, one intro, one outro. No, that's not my channel. Like, our series as such, I like to have different intros. So when it comes on, you guys know what the video is going to be about. Whether it's going to be an abroad holiday, a UK, like, travel road trip, the sit down with Shan, the scandals, moments with Mama G. Like, I like to have consistency within my series and um, the cooking and the baking everything has their own intro outro when it comes to stuff such as like your general months i tend to change it i think every three months with the seasons and then that will be it like for everything and then i heard someone say like if you have any type of series you have to have the same for that and i'm like okay but then it got me thinking i have a lot more series than like the sit down, the scandals, um, cooking, baking. If we have the UK road trips now, they that has a little one. I'm thinking we have the monthly favourites, we have the McBangs, we have the Primark hauls, we have the. And then I thought, whoa, 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 whoa! Your mind is going to be confuzzled with all of these different ones. So I am thinking what to do. I'm thinking for general normal videos just having an intro outro regardless and then really start categorizing my series so monthly favorites the intro i don't know could be something like randing up like little things dropping into a basket i was thinking with the mcbangs it could be me and mum and then like food appearing. my mind is like la 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 at the moment but you know sometimes when you think are you overcomplicating it so do let me know do you guys like the goofy intros i do feel like they've come a long way from the beginning ones if you remember it used to be like do 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 and then my face would appear and i'm trying to be a little bit more professional because to be honest guys the people that i watch they don't actually have intros or outros i would love to be able to do an intro to my vlogs where it's like um you get the little clips of what's to come in the vlog and then it comes through but I need to work out how to do that and what I would like to do. I do really like my intros and outros because I think it gives you a, like, it's like your, um, like the contents of what you're going to watch is there. So, yeah, I don't know. That was a complete ramble, wasn't it? I'm just sitting there thinking, I want to be creative. I want to sort out my banners and logos. But, again, my banner and logo, I tend to keep it quite plain now at the moment. It's just me with all my hair. And then I change the background behind it. Um... We're thinking of that, thinking of new series. Oh my goodness, I've still got this blooming baby hair, guys, I tell you. It's murder, let me tell you that. But yeah, and then as I say, you guys are always giving me tips and tricks, um, always getting involved in the videos, which I really, really do appreciate, whether that be moments with Mama G, the McBangs, the scandals, the sit down, and I say like, is there any other topics you wanna do? You are never holding back, and I get emails and DMs and messages, and I'm like, I love it, I'm here for it. I will have to find, when I get to my um, stationery box, wherever it may be, um, I'll show you guys the booklet of ideas that I have, which has all of your ideas, down there as well so it's got the scandals bit the sit down what you want to do with mama g um a lot of people say sometimes for the moments with mama g maybe say once every quarter doing it with me so you get like a vibing off someone said to turn the scandals and sit down and moments with mama g into podcast vibes and i'm like oh i don't know how i would do that i would would i just put a microphone in front of mom's face I don't know how that would work with podcasts because I have actually had quite a few of you saying could you make this into a podcast I want to listen on my way to work and I might not always be able to like look at a screen and I'm like so if anyone knows how podcasts work please do let me know my lovelies because you could get me like this 
where you can see me, or you could just have me rabbiting in your ear. Total nonsense. <laughs> Whatever works best for you. But uh, yeah, it has been a very turbulent, chaotic year, I think, don't you? We have had many ups and we have had many downs. Um, Vlogmas actually started today with me having a down, so <laughs> look forward to that next Sunday, guys. Um, it's just the way life is. You guys have seen me when I'm happy. You guys see me when I'm sad. And when is there ever a Vlogmas without a little meltdown? It was bad to happen sooner or later. We'd done three weeks fabulous. And then the start of week four. Uh, I blame Mother Nature, guys. I really do. But, uh, yeah, it's just everything is up in arms. And we're slowly getting there. We put the Christmas tree up today. So you will see that in Vlogmas. Um, it will be a little snippet in the moving vlog. So there's a little bit of Christmas in the house. Um, the sofas are ordered now. So yeah, we are getting there. We're slowly getting there and I'm hoping the last few little bits can be wrapped up while we've got time off over Christmas. So come the new year, it will literally be a fresh, clean start. Maybe with just little tweaks here and there, like maybe putting some artwork and bits and bobs like that up there. But apart from that, like, we can finally sit down and be like, the majority of it is done. And then I'm actually really excited to have mum over because mum's still not been here. She was like, she's coming Christmas Day. And I said, do you want to come down before? And she was like, nah, I'm all right. I was like, oh, okay. Fair dues. Okay, mother. Uh, but to actually get her down here and to start filming some different bits of content here. Now we've got the dining table. I'm sitting there thinking all the food challenges and stuff we could do we've actually got a space now the sofas is a different setup and then like we've got to sort mums out so there is a lot of stuff in the pipe work but it's just finding time and as i say i acknowledge all of your comments your thoughts your kind words sometimes the mean words that we address and we give five minutes of fame and be done but yeah i just wanted to say a little round up and to be honest guys I needed a chill video I've had a little lay in this morning I said over on the community this morning guys it's going up at six tonight because I need a little lay in because for the past three nights I've been running on about four and a half five hours sleep and you know when you wake up and my alarm went at three this morning I was like oh god I actually can't muster up the strength to get up right now so I had a little lay in till eight I know who is she laying in till eight the lazy sword um and yeah we've i feel a bit more rejuvenated i've even put a bit of slap on and we're gonna have a little festive day i'm gonna come back and then tonight i'll probably be editing vlogmas well into uh, the early hours of the morning not much sleep and then i'm off to mum's so you will see that in vlogmas because we're out up to london for a little christmas festive lunch so i'm very much looking forward to that but yes another little sit down another little ramble another probably pointless video that people sit there and think why do you do that but I just wanted to say thank you guys so as always let's round this out Shannon so if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know what are your thoughts what are your thoughts on the intros outros channel series give me your hints and tips for 2025 what you want to see over here okay but take care stay safe as always and I'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.